Home teams went 8-0 in game one of the first round. First time that's happened since 2013. And the average margin of victory was just over 13 points per game. That's the biggest in the first round game ones since uh, 2019. NBA teams winning game one of a seven-game series, all-time winning percentage of just over 75%. Stat of the day, stat of the day, stat of the day, stat of the day. Here comes that what? Stat of the day. Dame Lillard scored all 35 of his points in the first half. Bucks beat the Pacers. Pacers, come on. You want to be with the big boys? You've got to win that game. I mean, the Bucs without Giannis, and look, this, and Dame said, this is why you brought me in, and he played well, but if you're the Pacers, you got to win these games. Yeah, Paul. Okay, stay with me on this one. Is it a good story or a bad story that Damian Lillard had zero points in the second half, but 35 in the first? Tag it with, he was 11 of 24 from the field, but it's being celebrated as a very good game. Well, I'm going to look at the overall total, and it is 35. <laughs> but would I like it a little more evenly distributed? Yes. You know, maybe maybe 20 first half, 15 second half. It is surprising that you can dominate like that, and then you don't score in the second half. But he did have uh, 35. You got the Magic getting five and a half against the Cavs, Sixers getting five against the Knicks, and the Lakers getting seven and a half against the Nuggets. I did watch that game. And, man, it, you got that feeling at the end of the game, like, Lakers, you guys, you know, are you, we folding up shop here and we're going to wait and go to game two? Because if you would have said AD was going to match uh, the Joker, I'd go, okay, all right, I like her chances. And then when you're watching, I mean, Denver's not just the Joker. Uh, and I give credit to Mike Malone. I mean, that's a, it's a good roster, good team. Well, I could say maybe a great team there. But I wasn't surprised at too much here. I mean, Kawhi's not there and the Clippers won. I guess I was a little surprised at that. Um, I mean, you can't count on Kawhi. And I know that he's geared up for the postseason. Well, he doesn't play in the postseason. I get it. He's a Hall of Famer. You know, won a couple of titles. But you can't. He's not reliable. How many playoff games... Has he played in? How many has he missed? Has he missed like 13 of the last 16 playoff games? Kawhi has missed 12 of the last 14 Clippers playoff games. I mean. So it's an anomaly for him to play in the game. Yes. Yes. When you tune in, you go, oh, Kawhi's playing. But, you know, they extended him. Uh, Paul George played well. I, I was kind of surprised at that because I thought Dallas has got that makeup here and they got two closers in Kyrie and Luka that if you get in a close game, they're going to win. They'll find a way to win. The Clippers uh, got the win. Lakers just, you keep waiting, you know. Yet this, this isn't five, seven years ago where you just flip on a switch and all of a sudden, here we go. That's not happening. 